Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to make some yummy and easy tuna cups. So let's go over the ingredients and see what we need to do to make these delicious easy going tuna cups. I have about a half a green pepper and half an onion which I'm going to finely chop and then I have about one disc of um, feta cheese but I didn't use the whole disc, I used only about half of the disc. Then we have a tablespoon of paprika spice, which we're also going to add, which is going to give a nice spiciness and a nice warmness to the dish. I have some grated cheddar cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like. I only had cheddar cheese on hand. That is why I'm using the cheddar cheese. And obviously, the star of the dish, which is the tuna. I'm using two cans of tuna. You can use one, two. It, it depends on you, how much you have. And then obviously, one of my favorite ingredients which is the crushed garlic and chili paste as well and then i also had some some fresh coriander in the fridge which i which i thought uh, would accompany the meal and the flavors quite well and i chopped that up as well and threw it into the bowl as well so there's all my ingredients that we're going to need and um, let's get a chopping let's get a mixing and let's get started with this easy quick and delicious tuna cup cups so now I've chopped everything up as finely as I can. I'm adding everything to the bowl. And oh, one more thing. I've added about a tablespoon and a half of mayo. You can use whatever mayo you have on hand and add that to the bowl as well. And then I've added, I've drained and I've squeezed as much of the liquid out of the tuna that I could. And I've added both of the tuna cans to the bowl. I've obviously realized that the bowl is not going to work. So let's just go ahead and change the switch the bowls up or change the bowls up quickly. And add and change the, the ingredients over. I'm now adding the paprika spice to the mixture. Mmm, look at that. Beautiful. I love everything spicy. And now I'm adding the cheese. I've added half of the cheese just to see more or less how how much if I wanted to add more cheese or not. So I've add, I added half at first and as you can see I decided let's just add all of the cheese. So I'm adding the cheese into the mixture as well and that's also going to give it a nice, I'm going to help bind the cups as well. Okay, everything is nicely in the bowls. I'm now adding half of the disc of the feta cheese as mentioned previously. Just crumbling that into the bowl as well. Oh, that looks so, so good. Yeah, it's going to be so, so good. I love feta. I love cheese. I love all things cheese and all things feta. I just love it. So that's just going to give a nice texture to it as well and flavor as well so i've added the garlic and chili paste to the mixture as well i've added about a teaspoon of it um, not too much you can if you want to add more and then i've added the fresh coriander as well into the mixture and now i'm going to add four eggs which i've beaten and i'm just going to add that to the mixture as well just look at that golden green is so so nice adding that to the mixture and then we're going to just mix everything together. So now that I have all my ingredients in the bowl, I'm going to mix everything together and get it well incorporated, making sure that everything is well mixed tuna, egg, cheese, feta, everything. So now I've just uh, scooped some of the mixture into my little tray and I'm going to transfer the little tray into my air fryer. You can obviously do this in your ovens as well. More than welcome to do so, but I just think my air fryer is just quick and easy and less cleaning. And I'm going to put it on 30 minutes at 160. And I'm just going to leave that to fry through. And I'll obviously check... Um, to see every five five to ten minutes I'll check and see how far they are and trying not to overcook them as well so they turned out quite well I'm really impressed how it turned out I'm very very happy plated with some avo 
and, and, and a wedge of lemon just to squeeze it over if, if I tell you how nice this was it really came out nice what I did with the second batch is I actually added some fresh chilies as well because like I said I love me some chili and it came out very very nice so try the recipe let me know down below what you think bye